One day, Wally Worm was talking to his mother. Wally, his mother said to him, you are all grown up and it's time for you to find your own home. Where shall I live? Wally asked. Wally's mother told him that if he could find a little house with no windows, no door, and a star inside, he would be comfortable and happy. So Wally Worm said goodbye to his mother and set out to find himself a house. As he squirmed along, he found his friend, Sally Spider. He wondered what kind of house she lived in. Hi, Sally, he said. I'm looking for a little house with no windows, no door, and a star inside. Does your house look like that? My house has no windows and no doors, but no star inside, Sally replied. I live on a web. I spun it myself. Wally thanked her and kept on going. Next, he saw his friend Anthony Ant. Hi, Anthony, Wally said. I'm all grown up now and I'm looking for my own house. It will have no windows, no doors, and a star inside. What kind of house do you live in? Anthony was very proud of his home. I live in a nest, he said. It has one large opening, which I call the door, but it does not have any windows or a star inside. Wally thanked him for his help and kept on going. Next, he came to his friend, Harriet Honeybee. Hi, Harriet. I'm all grown up now and I'm looking for a small house with no windows, no doors, and a star inside. What kind of house do you live in? Harriet replied, I live in a hive. It has no windows and no star inside, but it does have a door. That's how I get in to make all my honey. Wally thanked Harriet for her help. Wally started to worry that he might not find his house before it got dark. As he was hurrying along, he bumped into his friend, Linda Ladybug. Huffing and puffing, he cried, Linda, I'm so glad to see you. I'm all grown up now and I'm looking for a house of my own. It will be small with no windows, no doors, and a star inside. Is that what your house looks like? Linda was excited. My house has no windows and no doors. But her excitement turned into sadness as she whispered, but there is no star inside. I live on a leaf. Disappointed, Wally thanked her and slumped over to a tree. He sat down feeling very discouraged. I have looked everywhere and cannot find a house with no windows, no doors, and a star inside. And it's getting dark. Where will I sleep? Just then, an apple fell down from the tree and landed right in front of him. He looked at the apple. It had no windows and no doors, but what about a star inside? Another apple fell down from the tree and landed on a sharp rock. It broke in half. Can you guess what Wally saw? There was a star inside. Wally had found a new home. He was so excited. He chose the juiciest apple he could find and chomped his way to the star in the middle. He was very tired from his long day of searching for a home. His mother was right. His apple was the most comfortable, happy home. The end. Do you have a real apple at your house? If you do, have a grown-up help you cut it in half. Just like the picture. Cut it in half from the side, not the top, and see if you can find a star inside just like Wally.